doing? Hi, everybody. It's me again. And uh, I'm somewhere different. I'm indoors, but I'm not at home or at work. It's amazing. So the uh, restrictions in England lifted uh, on Monday. It's now Friday. I did a couple of days of work. But now, because uh, hospitality is open again, and after... 15 months of doing nothing but staying in my home or going to work. Um, I'm making, so I'm sorry, I'm just, we'll get to why I'm distracted over there in a minute, but you, you'll see. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm making use finally after 15 months of an opportunity to do something other than being at home or at work, um, or, you know, walking around outside like you should see me doing. Uh, but I wanted to do something that would definitely be you know still fairly nicely the pandemic's not over i'm not vaccinated other people aren't either you know uh i didn't want to be you know there's dust over here um didn't want to be taking too many risks so i did something where i would be isolated you might remember i was talking about i thought hotels might be a good way to go and so as you probably gathered from over my shoulder here i'm in a hotel i'm in the um hilton garden inn at heathrow airport uh and uh I'm pretty happy about it, as you can probably tell. Uh, so, I'll give you a quick look around the room. Uh, let's go. It's uh, not a huge room, obviously. It's a it's an airport Hilton <laughs> Garden Inn, so you know you're not talking absolutely massive. But compared to the amount of space I normally have at home, I'm thinking it's palatial. You know? Hello there. It's about that which I do not have at home, I only have a shower, so that's nice. But of course there is a uh, shower fitting, so you can still take showers if you want to. Towels, of course, there's more in the, the cupboard. Um, and toiletries are provided, you have facial soap, uh, conditioner, body lotion, uh, shower gel, all of that jazz. Um, behind the door. Is the loo and a uh, nice little bit of uh, London photog photography slash artwork. Um, this is the Heathrow Airport Garden Inn, so it makes sense. Here's your wardrobe, decent size in there, extra pillow up top, your safe, ironing board, iron, and of course your hangers. This nice space down the bottom there. Around the corner here you've got a couple of hooks so you can hang things up outside as well and of course the space there so you might have got a suitcase there or oh, my I only this rucksack so it's just sitting here but that's fine there's plenty of power sockets they're everywhere so in there two down there back there you can see something plugged in there both sides of the bed so you're not gonna you're gonna be short of power uh, the ones by the bed incidentally also have uh, USB ports at the top of them. So you've got USB ports right there. I've added some more with my adapter. But, um, probably didn't need to, but I was already planning to. Uh, you can see there's a photo showing on this TV and it's because if we look back here uh, I've plugged in my Fire Stick, uh, which works. Um, Fire Stick. Fire TV supports captive portals, so you can log into that on Wi-Fi. I just watched a Dagpods video on it, and it was played back absolutely fine. So YouTube, all that works. And uh, so yeah, so I plugged it back in there. there. Here's the TV. The, uh, the remote is a uh, hotel TV, Samsung remote, but it does have the source button. So put it in uh, watch TV mode, and you can just change to uh, your HDMI ports. It's a big TV, it's um, 43 inches, it's the same size as my one at home, so I'm pretty happy about that. And it's got, uh, I think, three HDMI ports? Component, no, no, four, yeah, three. Uh, and uh, PC inputs as well, so that's all good. Uh, you get a little armchair with a footstool. Table goes with that. There's a chair at the desk too. Uh, each, of the, each side of the bed, you got a regular light 
and uh, the reading light as well, which is quite bright, but directional, so good for your nighttime reading without setting fire. Um, drawers in the top one is the hair dryer. Over here, underneath the TV, there is a fridge inside here, which I put some coke and some uh, cold chilled food in to snack on. Uh, under here is your coffee bean tea making kit. So, you know, you've got your uh, everyday tea, coffee, regular and decaf, sugars. Um, there's to-go cups provided, some ceramic mugs at the back. And there's also a couple of glasses in there. Uh, there's one there, there's the kettle. The other glass is over here because I'm using it for the Coke. Uh, there's, your, there's your hotel phone. Uh, zero or the front desk button is over here. Uh, front, your hotel services and stuff. Aircon controls are over there on the wall. Closer and let you see it properly. There it is. Uh, full length mirror which also has on it some information about the uh, Hilton um, clean stay. So telling, talking about how uh, you can have your room cleaned uh, during the day if you want or not. Uh, I'm here two nights, so I told them not to do it tomorrow. And then I can just keep using the room when I want to. And then some information about uh, the additional cleaning being done due to COVID. So they're cleaning everything, you know, your beds, your bathroom, and all the surfaces, handles, knobs, remotes, clocks, everything. Uh, when you first enter the room uh, on the other side of the door, see that? That is a, a seal that you break when you open the door and it tells you that no one's been in the room since it was cleaned. This is why I was getting distracted while I was talking to the camera earlier. This is my view. Uh, so <laughs> over there you can see, oh look, there's a, I don't know if you can make it out. Um, you might be able to, just a very distance. You can see a plane taken off uh, from one well, of the Heathrow runways. But yeah, uh, I was quite pleased when I opened this net curtains here and saw what I could see. It's planes, flight planes. If you've seen my uh, Heathrow to Edinburgh video, you probably figured that out. Uh, so yeah, that's me for two nights in here. So I'll probably film, you know, some other stuff like out the window and uh, maybe find some other things in in around the hotel while with my mask on, you know, when I'm out in the common areas, but. We can uh, yeah, see, see what things look like around about. Um, Hilton Garden Inns include uh, breakfast by with your room rate by standard. Um, you can get a room only rate, which is slightly cheaper, I think, but um, I think it works out a better deal to include it than add it later. At the moment, what they're doing is uh, you fill out this little menu, uh, put, put it in a little box at front desk before uh, midnight each night uh, and then you can so you select uh, what time you're picking up um, what you want uh, and then at that time you go down to the restaurant pick it up and you can bring it up to your room and uh, have your breakfast here where you have a full English vegetarian breakfast an omelet bacon and sausage bacon and sausage baps waffles uh, you can have some toast, you can have a croissant, you can have a muffin with that. Uh, you can have fresh fruit, apples, bananas, oranges, cereals and yogurts, things like Special K, fruit and fiber, cornflakes, crunchy nut, porridge, yogurt of various flavors. Uh, condiments to go with that, so you know, jams, raspberry, strawberry, there's marmalade, so pine and bear would be happy. Nutella, maple syrup, ketchup, mayonnaise, brown sauce, and golden syrup, so anything you could want for the above stuff. Uh, and then hot and cold drinks, as you might expect. Coffees in various forms, tea, 
including English breakfast tea, green tea. Uh, you can have hot chocolate, you can have water, you can have apple juice, you can have orange juice, and there are options for white sugar, brown sugar, and sweetener to go with some of those hot drinks. So there you go. I'll, uh, I'll see you further into my stay. Uh, but so far, I'm very happy with my room. Um, it looks like the uh, decor <laughs> decorators of this hotel shared my duty and for aircraft because the decoration in here is aircraft. So, that's me for a couple of nights and uh, I'll see you soon. Morning, Kizar. So it's, it's Saturday morning and it's about Hmm. Quarter to quarter to eight, uh, in the morning. As you may have seen, there are even more planes over there at uh, the the uh, BA service apron than there were yesterday. So I'll be looking at that window a bit for a while. <laughs> um, and uh, it's time nearly for me to go on down and pick up my breakfast. Assuming I wrote the right date on the menu, which in typical me fashion I started questioning sometime after I put it in the box, but hopefully there's the breakfast waiting for me downstairs. Uh, and I'll grab it and bring it back up here and see what, see what it looks like. Um, normally, when there's no like COVID restrictions, the breakfast would be sort of a buffet downstairs, but uh, I think this is a good way of doing it. And uh, Keeping everyone separated and safe, so. In a few minutes, an alarm's going to go off my phone, <laughs> so I'll uh, finish up and we'll, we'll go check out the, uh, the breakfast pickup and uh, what we did. So that was painless. Um, with the slightly more uh, permissive restrictions now, uh, when you get there, um, they did tell my order. I hadn't wrote the wrong date on it. I think. <laughs> um, you get the choice of uh, if you want to take it upstairs or if you want to eat it down in the restaurant because you know, the um, indoor dining is now uh, allowed again here in England. Uh, but I still chose to bring mine upstairs because why not? I've got this lovely room, I might as well make some use of it. Here is the little to go bag. Uh, I got a hot chocolate, which comes in this little to go cup. Uh, let's have a look what we got. Whoop. So I ordered a croissant, and it looks like you get a little mini croissant and a little mini pound of chocolate. So that's nice. Here's um, Nutella. Always good. Uh, ketchup. Just in case it was needed. A couple of uh, squares of butter. Salt. Pepper and your cutlery, which is the wooden recyclable variety. Take the napkin off. So, and then down there is the plastic thing. And it's right away. And let's have a look. See, 
Can I get this thing off one-handed? That's the question. Yes, I can. There you go. So, here's my full-length breakfast. You see, we got some baked beans, fried egg, two sausages, hash brown, mushrooms, uh, and I think if we get the egg, oh, the two hash browns. I don't know if you can see under the other hash brown, there is bacon at the bottom there. There you go, there's the bacon. So, uh, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, watch this final lap of the F2 Sprint Race 2, and uh, go from there. Today is Saturday of uh, the Monaco Grand Prix, so I'll be watching the F1, the F1 practice and qualifying there, and uh, yeah, just another chilling out in the Hilton Garden Inn. So, one of the great things uh, I've found here at the uh, Hilton Garden Inn is the Wi-Fi is really good. Um, it's the best hotel Wi-Fi I've ever seen. Um, right now, uh, all day, um, I've been streaming uh, things like the uh, Monaco Grand Prix qualifying. Uh, there's Ted's notebook going on right now, and it's, it's faultless. So no complaints there, but it's actually so good um, that this is happening. It it I can game stream. Like it it's completely responsive. Um, this is on Stadia. It's, I also had it working uh, with. Um, Xbox, uh, Game Pass streaming, but uh, let me get my thumb in this and you can see. Yeah. And yeah, it works completely fine. What's your status? All good. Uh, I can't really play this one-handed, obviously. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you, you know, uh, some footage of me playing Gambit earlier. Uh, here just to give you a better look at um, it in action, but just to show you the the sort of latency figures um, are, are pretty good. You can see it's responding fairly well to my uh, inputs there. Large blocker to the other side. Shaq never let you do that. Hey, did you wake up pissed today or something? I don't like it. Vader's back with three guardian staff. Glad they're on your side. You're nearly there. Feel the bench. Get that prime evil up. Prime evil's up. Burn the envoys first. Yeah, uh the odd hitch here and there, but nothing worth complaining about really. It's um it's perfectly playable. Uh, I was able to complete in my gambit matches as as usual. Uh, I did. You, when, the reason I wound up using the Stadia client more than the Xbox client is nothing to do with the quality of the streaming. Uh, it's just that the Stadia client is uh, in um, 60 hertz, whereas Xbox Game Streaming is currently using the Xbox One version of Destiny 2. So even though you can, it's even if you get. Uh, a 60 hertz video stream the game itself is rendering in in 30 so it feels slower and less responsive but yeah stadia works just fine through this wi-fi latency is good the video stream looks pretty clear to me um so yeah very good and uh says, says a lot of good stuff about this this wi-fi i haven't had any issues with so, Sunday morning, as you saw, for another breakfast. Uh, same basic deal, although this time I also got uh, some toast. You can get um, two big good items. So I also got the uh, croissant uh, pan au chocolat combo again, but uh, went with the traditional toast too this morning. Um, one thing I wanted to show you. Uh, which I realized I hint. It's the key. So I'm using these go green keys, which are made of uh, 
wood instead of plastic, which is nice. It's nice that it's envir more environmentally friendly, I guess, but also um, it seems just nicer. It's making that out of wood. Somehow it seems more premium than the cheap slippers of plastic you normally get for a room key. Uh, yeah, so it's been, it's been a good trip. Um, yesterday was a very relaxed day. Um, I was doing a lot. Uh, the Formula One, the IndyCar, Eurovision, and the Vote of Glass uh, World's Rush Race were all happening yesterday. I also played some Destiny 2. Um, and at one point I was watching the IndyCar uh, full screen on the TV with Eurovision and the sign picture and pictured my Kindle Fire uh, 7 had the um, data was feed of the full class world's first race uh, and then on my iPad in picture and picture there I had the um, tailgate up the, the world's first tailgate so I could see how the, the race overall was progressing so that's how I found out that uh, Salter Grappo and his team had won. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, and testament how good the Wi-Fi is. I was able to do all those things at one and flawless. Uh, yeah, so chilled out day of watching a bunch of things, competitive things all going on at once. So yeah, I've uh, got until midday to check out. Um, and uh, just gonna eat my second breakfast and uh, watch some more YouTube and then begin packing up little bits and pieces I have here and head home to watch the Monaco Grand Prix. So, um, it's raining. Uh, I don't. I don't know how well that came across on camera, but it is absolutely chucking it down out there. I have the room for less than an hour, and it has um, the heavens have absolutely opened. Pretty much right when I'm getting ready to leave. <laughs> if you look around, you can bags packing. Way less stuff around. Uh, so I was just getting myself ready to go, and then this happens. Oops. Well, anyway. <laughs> It's been a nice day uh, here at the <laughs> Garden of Heathrow. Um, I it looks like I'm going to deeply regret leaving, but unfortunately I have no choice because I only work for two nights and I have to go back to work tomorrow. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, it's a good. It's been a good day. This is a really nice room. Um, the COVID protocols have made everything feel nice and safe. Um, the hotel facility is great, the breakfast is good, both, both mornings. Uh, like I said, the Wi-Fi here is incredible, so I was able to do uh, all the things I wanted to do without any hassle at all. So yeah, very good today. Um, see, it seems to be slightly different once things are completely back to normal, but uh, these rooms will be much the same, and the room is really nice. It's, it's comfortable, pleasant, and... Uh, good place to chill out for a couple of days so nice to be getting back to something resembling normality uh, oh yeah one more thing uh, before we wrap up um, talking about all this you know the COVID protocols and stuff we want to get past all this as soon as possible and we're not we're not safe until everybody is safe so uh, please consider if you can joining me in donating to UNICEF's vaccinate program which aims to get uh, 2 billion vaccines to people in uh, uh, around the world who are, are not in these you know, rich countries like ours that can spend millions and millions piling up uh, vaccines. 
Um, it's really important that everybody everywhere gets a vaccine because it's not just the right thing to do, but also it makes everybody safer, even the other people. So if you can do that, please join me in donating and uh, let's get this nonsense over with so we can all go back to enjoying ourselves. If you've enjoyed checking out this uh, hotel, feel free to uh, give a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my general travel stuff and uh, video games and TV nonsense, just the whole, the whole nine. Um, and uh, you know, just drop a comment if you've got any questions about the hotel. Um, there are a few things that I probably know that I, I didn't cover in the video. So if anything has been missed that you think I should answer, uh, let me know and I'll uh, get back to you if I've got one. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna do it. Um, Check out uh, all that some of the other stuff on my channel if you want to, and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Uh, it's a three-pronged attack. Subliminal, liminal, and superliminal. Superliminal? I'll show you. <laughs> hey, you! Like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm in.